Welcome, folks, to my premiere. Today we'll be chit-chatting a whole bunch of stuff. Stimulus stuff, little clippings from the president. Talking about where this channel is going to go and what I'll be doing. I want to give each and every one of you a thank you for stopping by and supporting this channel. I was glad I was able to help with some of your questions about stimulus and unemployment, etc. Before I did these stimulus videos, I was doing my joke of the day and miscellaneous videos and covering all the fires that we had in California last summer. But again, folks, good news here starting. A lot of folks are getting their $1,400 stimulus check, <coughs> excuse me, along with their un uh, income tax returns. So that's good for a lot of folks. A lot of stimulating the economy is getting done. Being able to take care of their families, keeping food on the table now. <coughs> all this... Uh, Stimulus money and income tax returns are taking a lot of stress away from parents here, which is good, getting kids taken care of. Again, folks, a lot of people have already receiving their stimulus check, saying pending in their bank account. If you're one of them, leave it in the comment section after this video ends, and I will be in this chat here during this premiere video here. I'll talk to you guys and greet you as you come in. Some folks was answering, will they get their stimulus check this week? Well, all depends on how you file. If you filed with your 2020 income tax turn, returns with direct deposit, then that's the information the Treasury is going to use to send you your stimulus check. If you didn't get your 2020 tax return done yet, or it says pending, I believe they're going to use your 2019 return. So if you have your information different on that return, there might be a holdup in receiving your stimulus money. I don't know how that's going to work out if you use a tax preparer, because during the second stimulus check, you had a lot of problem with that checks were being lost and had to be sent back. But the folks that filed, that got their bank in information in there, and your banking information is correct, then you'll be the, in the first round of getting your $1,400 stimulus checks. If you file your taxes and you want a check, paper check mailed to you, then that's the way you're going to receive a pay, as a paper check. That's going to be taking longer than with direct deposit. So it, it should take up to a month or so longer, sometimes up to two months to get a paper check, but that's at the end. And also you could get your Stimulus check on a debit card they could be sending you. So it all depends how you filed, when you'll get it. But at least we know it's coming, folks. Don't I my, myself do not believe there will be another stimulus cash being given out. I think there might be some rental help, maybe. I don't think there's going to be any more extended unemployment. <clears throat> the way things look like here, with I'll be showing the news clipping here. Of, Joe Biden talking, going to have enough coronavirus vaccines for all adults by July 4th. So you can pretty well tell the writing on the wall that with that and unemployment running out the end of August, first week of September and the rental agreement, that he's hoping that everybody will be back to work. So this is what he had to say on that. Just curious, you guys have a lot of you received the coronavirus vaccine or are you hesitant on getting it. Me and myself, I don't think I'll take it. Nobody in my family is going to take it. We'll just write this out and see how it goes. Again, everybody, a lot of folks are getting their $1,400 stimulus check, which is great news. I just got wondering, it's probably a good debate topic here, but I know I heard President Joe Biden said if he got in office, it'd be $2,000 stimulus check, and then it got turned into, well, Trump we were given the $600 from Donald Trump, which was the down payment for this stimulus package. So does this mean this stimulus package started from Donald Trump or from Joe Biden? Because it seems like if it was started from Joe Biden, it would be the $2,000, he said. But that's just my opinion, folks. That's up for debate there. As long as folks are getting their $1,400, it's better than getting nothing. And I believe on this $1,400, they cannot take it for back child support, from what I've read. 
but they can garnish it if you owe something. If you have uh, pending lawsuits, or I mean lawsuits against you or something from the state, or you're owed the federal government money, they could take that, but from uh, back child support, they can't. But again, folks, that's still pretty good. Folks are getting $1,400 per adult, plus $1,400 per dependent. And here's just a little clipping of President Joe Biden talking. Mars, stunning images of our dreams that are now reality. Another example of the extraordinary American ingenuity, commitment, and belief in science and one another. And today, I signed into law the American Rescue Plan, an historic piece of legislation that delivers immediate relief to millions of people, includes $1,400 in direct rescue checks, payments. That means a typical family of four earning about $110,000 will get checks for $5,600 deposited if they have direct deposit or in a check, a treasury check. It extends unemployment benefits. It helps small businesses. It lowers health care premiums for many. It provides food and nutrition, keeps families in their homes, and it will cut child poverty in this country in half, according to the experts. And, a fine, and it funds all the steps I've just described to beat the virus and create millions of jobs. In the coming weeks and months, I'll be traveling along with the First Lady, the Vice President, the Second Gentleman, members of my Cabinet, to speak directly to you, to tell you the truth about how the American Rescue Plan meets the moment. And if it fails at any pace, I will acknowledge that it failed, but it will not about how after long, dark years, one whole year, there is hope and light of better days ahead. If we all do our part, this country will be vaccinated soon. Our economy will be on the mend. Our kids will be back in school. And we'll have proven once again that this country can do anything, hard things, big things, important things. Over a year ago, no one could have imagined what we were about to go through. But now, we're coming through it. And it's a shared experience that binds us together as a nation. We are bound together by the loss and the pain of the days that have gone by. We're also bound together by the hope and the possibilities of the days in front of us. My fervent prayer for our country is that after all we've been through, we'll come together as one people, one nation, one America. I believe we can and we will. We're seizing this moment, and history, I believe, will record we faced and overcame one of the toughest and darkest periods in this nation's history, darkest we've ever known. I promise you, we'll come out stronger with a renewed faith in ourselves, a renewed commitment to one another, to our communities and to our country. This is the United States of America. And there's nothing, nothing, from the bottom of my heart, I believe this, there's nothing we can't do when we do it together. So God bless you all. And please, God, give solace to all those people who lost someone. That was Joe Biden talking on the stimulus here. He's banking everything, I believe, on this vast of nations that everybody's going to take it and get everything going here by July. <clears throat> well, folks, another helpful information here throughout the rest of this video. This one's about who will get their third stimulus check first and how to check on it there is ways to check on it <clears throat> excuse me i will have a video coming up after this premiere here showing how on it so if you missed this premiere again there's a lot of helpful ways here on this premiere here to check out when you're going to get your stimulus and how long it should be and where you could check to find out an update on it including your first and second stimulus so hopefully you find this helpful 
hope some hopefully some of you got your checks today some people had theirs uh pending in their bank account as of yesterday which is good news like the other two stimulus payments you can track the status of yours using the irs get my payment tool yes there is a way that you could check folks if you haven't known this already of where your stimulus checks are an update of your two stimulus checks and you can tell where your third stimulus check is instead of playing the guessing game you could go here if once they get it up up and working here and you could check if it doesn't go down all the time status of using the irs get my payment tool however the tool is not available yet for the american rescue plan the arp payments as the irs needs time to review the law's tax provisions treasury official said friday this was last friday the tool would be available starting this monday march 15th folks so hopefully it'll be up running by monday you can check on there the status of your third stimulus check if you haven't received it and when it will be sent to you either through a paper check or electronic deposit you could also check the status of your first two stimulus checks so that's good news now the tool is not up and working right now and it won't be until again like i said monday folks check it monday there that'll help you out a lot be able to keep track of when your stimulus come in so you could plan how to pay some of these bills you got or pay things up me myself the stimulus check is going on 100 percent on bills it's going to pay bills up as far as i can with it that's the best way otherwise you end up spending it on unnecessary stuff where you get where you just want to splurge and buy things i know how it is it's hard sometimes to keep it just in the bank so just go ahead and just pay some of your bills up and help you get along through life those with direct deposit set up with the irs will receive their payments first yes folks we're going to talk about who's going to receive their third stimulus check first i mean payment first if it's in, or if it's going to be mailed out by a paper check so this will help you out some so anyways those with direct deposit set up which if you filed your 2020 federal income tax they're going to use that to see if you qualify for it and your mailing address your current mailing address your current bank account with the routing number all that is going to be used off your 2020 tax return so if you didn't get your taxes done this year or you're holding off to a later date because you might owe taxes then they're going to go by your 2019 tax return well that was from the previous year some of you folks might have made too much money to qualify for this so you need to hurry up and get this one done or you may not get get it but that's how it's going to be they get the direct deposit ones that are set up that's the irs is going to send out first after the deposit those deposits the irs will may pay, mail paper checks after those the irs will mail paper checks and prepaid debit cards to everyone else who qualifies the get my payment tool will tell users what type of payments they can expect so folks a lot of your all your questions will be answered coming monday if the irs gets this tool up you could go on there check it out and see about your stimulus check where it's at your third one and how you will be receiving it and it will also tell you about your first and second stimulus check and about under the rebate if you filed it on your tax return so this is very useful tool the irs should have up and running come monday the 15th but you know how the irs is with their system may not be running till after that date i also got a video coming up on this here right after this premiere using the reported problems users have reported problems using the tool in the past it's all of the tools on the irs was a problem the irs said previously that the system can get overwhelmed when too many people use it it also showed incorrect bank account information we all found out the hard way on that about that incorrect banking account information well some of us had the wrong bank account information and deposit dates for some users during the dispersal of the second 600 hundred dollar payment earlier this year yes that was a big mess and a big headache that second stimulus payments got lost and everything folks were really 
confused about what the IRS was saying on their website. So you'll be able to find out a lot more come Monday about your third stimulus check. Like I said, a lot of folks have it pending already. Some folks have already got it all cleared in their bank account as of Saturday, so that's great news. But Monday, check that IRS website tool and it'll help you track and find out what's going on with your stimulus. Give you a, it's a real good tool that they got if they could get it up and working good. There's a lot of things in this third stimulus package, which I'll be covering in probably other videos and more details along with the unemployment. But as for right now, we'll talk a little bit about the pandemic unemployment. It has been extended until, I believe, September 6th. So, folks, get everything in order by then, because I don't believe there will be any more, my honest opinion. But it all depends how bad this virus takes off again, if it does at all. It may just be gone, which I think we're all going to have a good summer anyways. I didn't have too much of a bad summer last year. Everything just pretty well kept going the same as it did the summer before, but... We don't live in big cities, so. But on the unemployment, for the first, I believe it's around $10,000, you won't have to pay tax under this third stimulus package. Now, you won't have to pay tax on it, and you will still get the $300 a week boost on top of your regular unemployment to help you out, which is good news, all the way through till I believe it's September 6th. So that gives you a few months to help you get on your feet. Here in California, everything's so extremely high, folks. Unless you've been here and seen the prices of rent, the prices of heat and everything, even if you're in the valley down there, it's unreal. People are commonly paying $1,500 or $2,000 a month in rent. And as you go farther up northern California, it gets down around 1000 or so. For a decent house, 1100 But some places in San Francisco are paying 3000 4000 for a little studio apartment. So that unemployment don't go so far, but it helps. I know they got a lot of the renter forgiveness stuff out there. There's a lot of folks going through hard times that haven't been able to pay rent in almost a year. And their landlords are suffering, and they're suffering, and they can't evict them. But the landlords can get that renter credit from the government. They'll reimburse them, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, 80%. So if a renter owes you $1,000, excuse me, you could get 800 of it and then try to collect the rest from your renters are going through a hard times. I'm sure there's some out there that just refuse to pay and is using the system not to pay, but you know, sooner or later all this is going to leave and those landlords are going to remember that if you didn't try to work with them. So everybody just needs to work together on that, but there is ways for landlords to get some of that back money that their renters owe them and get that from the government. And then folks that can't afford to pay their rent are protected from that, under that eviction law due to this pandemic which is good for both sides a little bit of rents lost to the homeowner but what can you do during these hard times so hopefully that information will help you out a little bit there's a the ebt program here in california is giving out food on the card money so you go purchase food for your kids under this third stimulus package so that helps you out and you have that child tax credit you'll be start getting child if you apply uh qualify for it child tax credit payments to your bank account starting in July all the way through July till the end of December I forget how much it is but I got an upcoming video on that too also so there's a lot of benefits that come out of this third stimulus package to help the American people out a lot of folks are just going back to work anyways they don't they didn't never get the vaccination they don't believe in it or, or whatnot and they just went back to work anyways here in our small town Folks are pretty well just tossing their masks away. They don't even wear them in the stores anymore. People just want things to get back to normal. Wish it will sooner or later here. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed this premiere here. Had a little bit of information in there. Just wanted to thank everyone for stopping by and supporting this channel. All your guys' comments, I really appreciate them. I tried to answer them the best that I could. Got still a few more videos coming up. Before we could put this stimulus stuff to rest doesn't look like folks have much time this summer to be on youtube anyways be out and about doing things because we didn't some folks didn't get to do a lot last year being on this lockdown and everything without work and everything hopefully folks get back to work and the world gets going back at the pace that it was before hopefully a lot better with less crime and everything also 
Again, folks, thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this premiere of me chit-chat and rattling along. Like I said, I could probably out-talk a truck driver on a good day. I don't know. Come pretty close, though. Well, you folks, take care and be safe.